In the modern world, we are surrounded by networks. A network is a collection of nodes connected by links. These could be the arrangement of towns on a motorway network, or logic gates in a computer, or connections between friends. The most fundamental quantity in a network is the number of links connected to a given node, the degree. For example, on Facebook, your degree is simply the number of friends that you have. Human social networks are assortative. High degree nodes tend to connect to other high degree nodes. Or, in other words, people connect with other people that are similar to themselves. Other sorts of networks tend to be disassortative. Assortativity can help distinguish social networks from other types of network and can shed insights on the realism of a given network. If we travel back through the mists of time, what can network theory tell us about our past? The Icelandic sagas are a collection of epic poems telling the stories of great warriors, kings and heroes. Physicists at Coventry University mapped the characters in these sagas and how they related to each other. Were they friendly or hostile? Mapping the network revealed interesting connections. The characters in the Njal saga and the Laxdyla saga had so much overlap that it was impossible to separate them using a community detection algorithm. This supports the commonly held view that the Laxdyla saga is one of the principal sources for the Njal saga. Some historians have speculated that the Laxdyla saga was written by a woman, and the data shows that interactions between women occur twice as frequently in this saga as in the others. They also discovered that when you take the sagas as a whole, the network is strongly assortative, very much like a modern social network. Does this mean the sagas are true? We don't know. That's a question not just for mathematicians, but also for archaeologists and historians. But we can say that the relationships depicted in the sagas are highly realistic, and that this method can give us valuable insights into the stories of the distant past.